You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing <laughs> our Royal Rumble predictions. Yeah, the 2018 Royal Rumble. Yes. The first women's Royal Rumble. That, that'll that be happening that night, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So first, I got a question. You think that they're going to open the show with the women's Royal Rumble? Do I think, or should they? That should be the question. Uh, you can answer either of those questions, or both if you'd like. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's the proper way to open the show. I think they should bookend the show with the Royal Rumble. Yeah. That would be the smartest thing to do. Do I think they will? Probably not. But why wouldn't they? They'll probably be on the pre-show. <laughs> no, it's funny. If it was WWE's decision. It, it's funny, though, because my dad, he was like, oh, I heard that the uh, Women's Royal Rumble is going to be at 7 o'clock. I guess someone had... Well, 7 some... o'clock's the start time of the yes, pay-per-view. but he didn't know that. Oh. Because oh, oh, oh. he's like, because normally they start at 8, but right. the big four start at 7. Right. So I was like, I guess it's on the pre-show. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's definitely not happening. You'll probably start the, the pay-per-view, yeah. but it's definitely not going to be on the pre-show. Could. You that never would be know. bad. That would be really <laughs> bad if they did that. The only thing worse would be if a man won the Rumble. It's true. <laughs> Santina Morella. There you go. Or uh, Breezy Bella. Also possible, because <laughs> Tyler Breeze apparently wants to be in. Yes. Um, anyway. Yep. So we're going to we're gonna start with uh, the tag team title matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first is the SmackDown one. We're going to go with it's going to be the Usos against Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Yes. So I, I don't know if there was going to be any bearing to this match with what had happened to Jey Uso outside of the wrestling world. Um, probably not. There's, you there's, never know. They're weird like that. But this was kind of such a, like, a comparably a minor incident. Well, dropping a title and being fired are two different things. No, I know that. I'm just saying, I, I'm not talking about Enzo. Oh, okay. I'm just talking about in general. Yeah. Because there's been times where people, like, got, like, like arrested and, like, spent weekends in jail and stuff yeah. like that. And That's true. So this is one incident. It's yeah. not, like, a ongoing thing. That's true, but so it could it just be one of those things, like, don't be stupid because here's your, you know. I guess. But then, you, again, you're punishing two people for one person's stupidity. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I, but. I think you're right. There will be. If if they do lose the titles, they were going to lose the titles Yeah, probably. Regardless. Um, I think that's what the the idea and, is. And I, I think there's a good possibility of that. Do uh, you think that the, they're going to... Well, in all fairness, we kind of thought that Sheldon Benjamin and Chad Gable were going to get their time for a couple months now. It's true. So, they did win the match a couple weeks ago. They did. Just not the right person. Yeah. So... Because, um, I mean, I don't know. What do you do beyond this if the Usos hold the titles, you know? Well... The, the next the choice... The Bludgeon Brothers come out and squash them? I was going to say, I think that would be the next uh, obstacle. Mm-hmm. But at least with Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable, there's... They, they don't need to be protected. That's true. If you send them against the Bludgeon Brothers. Well, that... that they probably could beat the Bludgeon because Brothers. Though. It's true, but <laughs> eventually, these two are going to split. Uh, I would imagine so. Chad Gable definitely... Should have a singles run at and, least. And the real question is, how long is Shelton Benjamin going to be around? That's true too. So, but yeah, I, I'm going with Shelton Benjamin, Chad Gable. I'm assuming you're. The I would same. agree with that. So, Ben yep. and Gab. Mm-hmm. And then we have Raw's counterpart with their tag team titles with champions Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins defending against Cesaro and Sheamus. Da bar. What you thinking? I'm going with Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins. I said it when they won the titles. I want them to bicker, and I want them to win. Because eventually that just means that when Dean comes back, uh, Jason Jordan's going to get the hugest of boots, Mm -hmm. and it's just going to be a slaughter, and it's going to be funny. Or do you think they'll... This will fizzle before he even gets back because we don't even have a timetable for... Yeah, I don't know what their end game, their plans for this feud... Is well, my thing is that we don't know how long, how much longer Seamus can be around. That too. So I feel like this might just be the bar's mm-hmm. last. Because like, what I 
feel – well, yeah, that's true too. And I feel like Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins are going to keep the titles until eventually they're, you know, bickering – becomes a problem, a problem mm-hmm. and they lose it to like the revival or the club or someone like that where you have it's a, not going to be the revival oh, it might it, it's going to be the club if anything okay it's regardless not, it doesn't matter but that's how you get know, the titles i know you off. like them but it's not going to be them they obviously don't like them that much fair enough <laughs> coming from the club who did nothing for a year well that's true <laughs> but they they seem to be you know actually doing something with them now it's true but Anyway, so you're going with Jason Jordan, Seth Rollins? Yep. All right. Me yes. too. Very, very exciting. Uh, similar predictions going on here. Yeah, but well. we do have things planned for our rumbles. So well, They could be the same, though. We don't know that. It, that's true, but we'll get there when we get there. We will. Um, all right, up next, we have the, for the WWE Championship, mm-hmm. AJ Styles in a handicap match against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. On a one to ten scale, how excited are you for this match? Not at all, because you know what's going to happen is something stupid. Shane's going to come out and say, "Oh, I'm going to get Shane in for AJ at WrestleMania again." Oh my for the god, the WWE title. Oh my god, <laughs> don't say things like that. It's true. You might be listening. Yeah. Um. No, AJ's going to win. Obviously. Especially yeah. Considering the way that everything played out on SmackDown last night, um, and it's. Well, assuming that Owens is actually in the match, mm-hmm. if he's kind of hurt, does he play a limited role? Right. Does he get knocked out like he did last night? You know, who knows? What, lays outside the ring for 20 minutes, then comes in and gets the victory? Yeah. Yeah, watch yeah. that happen. Well, it, and Brock's done it. So <laughs> I know. It's not out of the question. It's true. Um, but no, I, it's just going to win. There's really... There's, there's nothing to gain, especially nope. when the major storyline has nothing to do with the championship. No, it's the, all about Kevin Owens against Shane McMahon. Yep. Or Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens and, and Sami Zayn yeah. versus uh, Shane McMahon. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing to gain from them winning the titles. If anything, them losing the titles kind of furthers their feud right. with Shane. Yeah. Oh. I wrote AJ Shane. I Please don't, don't say that. I don't know why um, I did. I feel like the uh, superstar shakeup should happen after the Royal Rumble this year rather than WrestleMania. Yeah, it's fine if it goes a couple more months or yeah. already this far. I guess. So I guess. Yeah. Uh, up next, we have the Universal Title match: mm-hmm. uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Kane. Kane, hundred percent lock to win. <laughs> all right, no. I'll write that down. Don't do it. All right. No, and. While I feel like Lesnar is going to win this match, I don't want him to win this mm-hmm. match because Braun has been the absolute best part of Raw. He is their top person, and if he's not going to get a title shot at WrestleMania, he should win it here. I I would like I would agree with the sentiment, but I just I Brock's gonna win. All right, <laughs> I want Strowman to win, so, so I'm gonna pick Strowman. Damn it! What what's gonna happen is. <laughs> Is that um, Brock's going to get laid out for a while, and Take then he's going to come back and win, like you had said with Kevin Owens yeah. just now, because that's what's going to happen. Well, regardless, Kane's going to take the pinfall. Most likely, unless yeah. they do something stupid and uh, yeah, they really should. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. No. <laughs> um, so we have um, we're, we've come up to the women's Royal Rumble mm-hmm. now. Um, would you like to explain what we're doing? Sure. We're going to have each, in each Royal Rumble, we're going to have three picks. One is our expected pick. The second is who we'd like to win. And the third one is our dark horse pick. Mm-hmm. One that's no no chance of really winning, but if it happens because WWE decides to throw a curveball in there, yeah, it would be cool. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Um, I guess before we actually make our picks, we could talk about the match a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. A little bit. The, a little bit. The, the women's rumble, there's really, there's really only three choices, technically. One of them hasn't even actually been announced. It's true, but I mean, um, that's up in the air. We don't know about it. Well, it's true because there's been rumors that she is going to be around. There's rumors. Did that you she won't hear be. that Stephanie is going to be on commentary during the Royal Rumble, the Women's Royal Rumble? I didn't hear that. Yes, but that, that makes was announced sense. earlier. That makes as long as she doesn't come in at number thirty. Oh, man. 
throws the last it person would, over the ropes it would and is be your funny winner. If she came in in the middle of it, mm-hmm. maybe not at 30, like uh, like the commentators did that it's one true. year. Um, <laughs> apparently, I got the terrible light tonight. Yep, apparently. So, anyway, that was really all of those worth discussing with the Rumble. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, I guess you want to get all three of yours out right away? You want to. Sure. All right, go ahead. All right, so who I think is going to win it. Like you said, there's really only a few choices. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Asuka is my pick to win it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's who I think will win it. The person that I think should win it, though, Uh is Becky Lynch. You think Becky should win? I think she should win. I think they should turn her heel and have have her face charlotte yes the only problem with that is that they've done such a terrible job with the women's roster on smackdown Mm -hmm. that it's almost impossible because it's so heel heavy oh yeah it's incredibly heel heavy um the dark horse pick now it's completely out of left field woman's not even on the main roster Mm -hmm. but i would love to see peyton royce completely crazy like i said but I right. think she is going to be the future in the women's division. I think she's come such a long way in NXT. I was going to say, she is certainly a lot better than she was. Mm-hmm. She gets cr- great crowd reactions. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are behind her. Mm-hmm. Um, completely out of... I, I would expect, honestly, to see her in the Women's Royal Rumble. Oh, I, I yeah. think she'll be in it. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any way that her and um, Billy Kay aren't in it. Yeah. Um, winning obviously not but I, yeah. but it's something that like mm-hmm. i said it's kind of a pick i wasn't going to pick ronda rousey because there's a possibility that she's she not even going to be there yep yeah so. it's true um and also there's a possibility that Shayna could be in it she's got a title match on saturday so i know but i guess that's a possibility yeah i didn't realize how old she was how old is she she's in the late 30s i think i believe it yeah so Anyway. Then again, so is Kyrie Sane, which apparently she's dealing with injuries again. Yeah. She's a wrestler. has got to be more safe. Uh, yeah. She didn't wrestle with Seth Rollins so often. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But, I mean, I think that's a big thing is, yeah, she was born in 1980. 37. Um, yeah, that's another discussion for another day what uh, the grueling schedule that the wrestlers go through i know we were well, talking about nxt but it seems like the injuries are starting to pile up a lot more now yeah that's true as far as uh wear and tear wise mm-hmm. yeah, that's true so who do you got um because i like the idea of oscar winning yeah but we had discussed this at some point we kind of want to like think about what's going to happen in result. The idea of Oscar versus Alexa Bliss at WrestleMania is not very. Appealing. I think Alexa's going to drop the title at Elimination Chamber to Nia. They're building that. They are building that, so that makes sense. Okay, I can get behind your thinking, uh, but. I still, I still want to say Ronda Rousey's going to win. Okay, hey, yeah. that's, that's that's fine. Yeah, go with the person that's not even in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> um, so, because there's a very good chance that the person who wins it isn't on either of these. It's true. So that's very true. Um, <clears throat> it could be James Ellsworth. It's true. Um, I think he's going to start wrestling women on the independents. I believe it, which is fantastic. Yeah. So. Um, for who I would like to win, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, because I kind of uh, I like your idea of having Becky win. Mm-hmm. I agree. I'm a big fan of Becky Lynch, but at the same time, I don't like the way that they do things on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, no, it's absolutely, not, it's not good. No. So, in all fairness, it's better off being someone like Asuka mm-hmm. or maybe even Sasha or Bailey. Right. Honestly, I think Bailey would be a good one too. The only problem is that Bailey's already feuded with Nia. Mm-hmm. She's already feuded with Alexa. Yep. So you can't really move the title onto someone that makes sense for her. Same right. thing with Sasha. Yeah. So you're kind of you're you're moving into familiar territory if you pick one mm-hmm. of those two. Hey, I got a, a question for you. Since what? this has, I don't think it's ever happened. Now, what happens if, like, like say I picked Peyton Royce? What happens if someone from NXT is is the winner of the Rumble? 
who they get to choose who they want to face. Um, like, I feel like that should it, be a stipulation. It says, it says on the Wikipedia page, mm-hmm. if a free agent wins, they get to choose. Okay. But so. I, I think they really should bring that into the Rumble this year. Well, they... Re- you mean, like, during the... Um, yeah, yeah. whoever wins, regardless of brand, they can choose. Oh, uh, I don't think they're going to do that. I know. I think they've made it clear that it's that, they're going to... But I think they, they should. Oh, they absolutely should, because that opens up possibilities. Right. Actually, that opens up a possibility of something that we're going to get to a little later. Yeah, because probably... Uh, well, no, yeah, it was yeah, similar. We're, yeah. yeah. Same, same scenario, different person. Okay. So, anyway, mm-hmm. um, I'm actually going to pick... For my, I'd like to win. I really would like. Becky Lynch kind of deserves it. Yeah. Um. If if Charlotte isn't going to be in the Rumble, mm-hmm. I think that Becky is the best choice. Yep. Um. Dark Horse. Um. Will you stop? Not working. There we go. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna go with. I mean, unless I kind of want to em- go with an NXT person as well. But Ember it, Moon drops the title. Nah, I don't see that happening. I- no, I'm not saying I don't see her dropping the title. I, I know their their pushing it. of Shayna though. I feel like is. No, I'm not saying she isn't gonna. She's not. I'm not disputing the dropping the title. Part. Yeah, yeah, I just don't know if she's gonna come up to. Although that would make sense, and I really want her on SmackDown. Why so she can be in six woman tag matches? No, she'll make a difference. I It'll be an eight woman tag. I promise. She'll make <laughs> It'll be an eight woman tag. I'm going with Ember Moon. Confirmed eight woman tags my... every week on SmackDown. Ember Moon. There we go. Ember Moon. <laughs> yes. All right. That's enough. Yep. With, with the women's rumble. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So we're on the men's now. Yeah. So same thing applies. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. So who who do you think is going to win? I think our, our choice would be a little similar here. Yeah. Um, I would say who I think is going to win because they have been rumored. It makes the most sense. Raw has the Elimination Chamber. Mm-hmm. Shinsuke Nakamura yeah. should win it. Yes. The The thought is that it will, at the very least, be a SmackDown Live mm-hmm. uh, roster member. Yes. And Shinsuke is the... Granted, a SmackDown person won it last year, and they had the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, but... Um, there was no need for a setup for the um the universal title match. That's unlike true. This time, oh yeah, that's, because that's it was Goldberg point. versus Lesnar. Lesnar, right? So that was a built-in thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so who yeah. I'd like to see win? Uh huh. Mister Finn Balor. You would like to see Finn yes, Balor win? I would. And you see, I take on the Beast. No, Braun Strowman. Yes, no. I would like to see, like I talked about. And what you are going to eventually oh, say, him okay. being traded to SmackDown, uh-huh. he takes on AJ, we get a rematch from Survivor Series, you already have a little built in, mm-hmm. you kind of have the club play in a little bit, and I it, like it builds itself. I like it. Dark Horse, I think you're going to be on the same page here. This would have been Samoa Joe had he been in the Rumble, Uh huh. but Rusev. Rusev. So we were thinking about making a list of uh, our top people mm-hmm. to win the Royal Rumble. We still never got that Rusev versus AJ match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who's going to qualify to this Survivor sure. Series. Um, and Rusev was definitely going to be on that list of people we'd like to see win. Mm-hmm. He's been so great lately. Yes. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make my choices. Now. Okay. Who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Shinsuke. Because I'd like to joke and say Roman Reigns. Because that's the funny thing to say, but I don't actually. The funny that. thing yet, it could be true. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 possible. Granted, he has not been named, but that could be part There's of no their way plan. He, he's definitely going to be. Yeah, in. what do you think? That he's going to sit on the sidelines during the Royal Rumble? Yeah, exactly. He, him not be on a major card that makes no sense. I realize that Unless um, he's got the mumps again. Yeah. Um. So, the person I would like to see, mm-hmm. honestly, I would be okay with John Cena winning. Yeah, I, I think that him against AJ at WrestleMania is uh, number three on the, or I guess technically, if because Survivor Series is traditionally a uh, like a team mm-hmm. thing, so if you like change it from the Big Four instead of Survivor Series having Money in the Bank, which is going to be one of the Big Five right. this year, yes, they have had a match at every all four of the Big Four. Mm-hmm. If they count that, because their first match was at Money in the Bank. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So 
I, I think that would be a nice way to round it out because yeah, and the two of them just work so well together. Um, and my dark horse, like you had said, is to have Jeff Hardy win and chase AJ and go over to SmackDown. Yeah, I think that would be great. The only problem is Jeff Hardy is not in ring shape, I don't think. We don't know that because he was in the ring last night. That's on true. Monday. That's true. I don't know what they did exactly, but he was at Raw I and he was... I think he was just there to talk. No, but yeah. he... No, a- after the show. Uh, he was with Matt in the ring. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what they did, but they I did gotcha. something. So... While this might be completely impossible, mm-hmm. he might not even be in it. I would like to see this because Jeff is the man. I've always liked Jeff, and uh, yeah. All right, so well, we still have a little time here. Mm-hmm. What if a Raw superstar does win the Rumble? Uh-huh. How do you think they will play out the SmackDown World Title for WrestleMania? Um, I'm assuming it'll still be AJ as the champion, mm-hmm. and it'll just be him against Shinsuke. I don't know how they're going to get there, but I think that that's where they'll yeah. go. Which I'm makes sorry. it very easy to believe that Shinsuke is going to win. Right. But, I mean, that could have just been a heavy rumor. Yeah. And we could just get AJ Styles versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. That would be disappointing. Because I'm all for Randy Orton have a strong showing at this Rumble, because mm-hmm. it kind of looks like that's where they're going. Yeah. But he can't win again. No. There's no reason for it. No reason for a lot of things, my friend, but yeah, I guess that's here true. we are. It's true. Yep. But but yeah. I'm I'm okay with these predictions. Yeah, I think so. that that's fair. Yeah. So yeah, that has been our Royal Rumble preview and predictions. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.